in this video, I want to show you and talk to you about the best feature, I think, in Pokemon Quest and why it's the best feature. Alright guys, my name is Bonnie Kiwi and welcome back to another Pokemon Quest video. Now before we dive into this video, it's not something groundbreaking, it's something pretty obvious, but you might not have used it because I didn't use it for a long time. I didn't use it until I was like Realm 8 or 9, maybe even when I'd gone to Realm 10, I don't know. I didn't use it for so long, but the best feature, in my opinion, is the autoplay. Just just hear me out, okay? So if you jump in to to an expedition, by the way, if you're going to use autoplay, make sure it's an expedition you can win because you're not there to do your strategies and your best methods. So don't go for one much higher than your Pokemon's team strength. My Pokemon's team strength is 9465 and because I have Slowbro, which is Psychic in here, I get an extra bonus of nearly 2000, which is awesome because he's such a high level. He's like 69, 70, level 70, I think. So if I go to one, I know I'm definitely capable of winning. Here, 9500. My team is stronger than that. On autoplay, I will win this. And I need to recycle some stones. Okay. Can't do expeditions if you have no slots for new stones. I think it, yeah, it was this one, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm much stronger than that. 9,500 is the recommended team strength. I have way over that, okay? So now here on the left, you can see if you're in all play mode, if because I am, all this is grayed out down the bottom and it has a little stop thing there to say stop all play. Now, because it's an auto play, I'm not playing. It's just running by itself. These Pokemon are battling to their best computed ability. I can turn this off by clicking there and then it'll be up to me to start touching all the moves, but and that's fine if you want to really play the game but if you open for a really good grind you want to farm loads of ingredients loads of minerals want to level up a pokemon it's just so much grind trying to fight all the time do something do it when you need to do something else so i put this in auto play stick the controller down step away let it do its own thing come back now because it's a bit a bit strange me just standing over there but you can do your own thing you can go Go do whatever you want, okay? You can. I, I today I've been grinding away at this game for about five hours or so. All right. In that time, I've had lunch. I've had a shower. I've recorded and edited about. Well, I haven't edited. I've recorded about five videos, all in the space of time while this game's just been running. And I've just been occasionally tapping expedition, expedition. Go do your thing. Collect me ingredients. Collect me minerals. Level up my Pokemon. It's great, the auto the auto feature is just absolutely great. And I, I, I didn't touch it for so long because I was scared that it was just going to be really bad. But it's actually really good. The Pokemon are pretty intelligent. They do their own thing. If you're stronger, you win. It's just how it is. If you're, if it's kind of borderline, if your team strength's like 10,000, like 9,000, 10,000, and that's exactly the same, sometimes you'll just lose out. And if the, the, the team, if the team you're battling, if the realm you're battling is stronger, you'll most likely always lose out. So just be aware of that. Now we can just watch my Pokemon battle themselves. I'm not doing anything. This is them. This is all them. Battle Dugong. Eevee's taking a bit of a beating, but it's fine. Onyx, Onyx is Onyx is a beast, man. Onyx is such an OP Pokemon in this game. Because he, 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 he take, can take so many stones right from the start. So many HP stones. His Rock Sword does a ton of damage. And he can take a lot of fighting stones as well, like attack stones. So he's really good. And Slowbro... He's alright, but I've got him, he's such a high level. He came out my cooking pot at like level 67 or something, which was insane. The highest level Pokemon I've ever gotten. I haven't gotten one anywhere near that. The, the closest that I've gotten is like level 40. I've had a few level 40s, level 39s. Um, but yeah, Slowbro and Onyx, pretty good team together. And Eevee's back alive, Eevee's back in the mix. Do your thing, Eevee. Not that you can do much, but you can do something. I'm helping. You're not, but you know, you can... Shout at him, scare him real good. The reason I've got Eevee in this team, by the way, is because I'm trying to level him up to, obviously, evolve him into a Jolteon or a Vaporeon or a Flareon. Oh, they've almost done it. They've almost got him. They're going to do it easy. I can see watching this. They're going to do it easy. They've all got half HP. Dugong's struggling. And one more hit and he's done. Onyx is frozen, but that's that. If you've got a Pokemon that can freeze other Pokemon or put them to sleep, really good feature. And it's done. My team wins all by themselves with loads of HP left. It's, no, wasn't even, wasn't even a struggle for them. They breezed past it. Eevee will get a good bit of XP from that. Onyx got a fair bit as well because it was obviously this is a, a Realm Nine World Nine um, 
expedition so they gained a good bit of uh, hit of xp good bit of ingredients there three stones as well that was a good expedition and i did absolutely nothing okay so i just wanted to make a video to point that out to you if you're not using it you really should be when you have to do other things in the day just put it on have your switch running, hit auto run, let it do its thing, it's such a great feature for you not to be using it. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out or if you enjoyed it, leave a massive thumbs up, leave a comment below and let me know if you use it or if you're going to start using it from now on. If this is a good game, if you're enjoying it, tell me anything, I love hearing from you guys. If you're brand new here, please do consider subscribing to the channel as well and hit that little bell, turn on notifications so you can see more Pokemon Quest videos and more videos from me in general. Thank you again for watching, I will see you hopefully in the next one, but for now, keep me out.